this very video we want to look at because in Monday experiment it happened in uh, in uh, 1887 uh, two scientists uh, about Michelson and Edward Molly performed an experiment to determine the speed of I mean to determine the speed of the earth now and this the the the, the, the experiment setup was 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 just was it just it was it was like this I'm going now we are going to look at this very experiment and, we, and in this very video you should be able to, you are going to, at the end of this video you should be able to understand why this uh, uh, experiment failed and the success of this very experiment now we have been uh, dealing with uh, a series of uh, of videos on relativity and special relativity do check the the channel to to, to see some of the videos there and don't forget to subscribe now let's come back to this very experiment so in uh, in 1887 Michael Simoli at least two scientists carried out an experiment to determine the, velo the velocity of the earth now and one way they, they tried to do that was to was to uh, make use of this very setup we have here this setup is called Mitkelsen interferometer now the, 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 the setup starts with what with a light source and a light that light source is focused with a lens so that they, they, they can have a kind of monochromatic light which travels uh, from this very uh, lens down to what to an half a, a half what silvered mirror now this half silver mirror is a mirror that that is going to that if let's say if one one uh, photon of light or if two photons of, of, of light comes down to this very mirror it is going to reflect it is going to do what reflect uh, uh, half of it upward and then the other half will pass through it right that is that is that is uh, that is the half silvered mirror now in this experiment it was so arranged this way because it is believed that it is believed that if um, uh, mirrors are, 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 are not placed exactly perpendicular to each other or to, or to themselves they should be they should be uh, they, they should be what uh, some fringes noticed or detected by what we call what the detector this detector could be a telescope for instance now what we have on is this if light travels from this source to this very half silvered mirror now the, the light is going to be sorry for this very arrow now the light should be um, should, should be re reflected upward like this now and we are going to in the first case i'm going to look at if this very system is not moving if we are if we say that what if we are saying that it is not moving now let's say this distance l1 and distance l2 and these are mirror m, m1 and what m2 the, the distance let's say the distance are what are the same even if we are going to predict and say they are the same now now you know this very the light has to travel down here and because of this is a mirror the, that very light is going to do what is going to uh, be reflected backwards right it's going to be reflected backward in this direction so the the arrow is going to be pointing down and then it should come down to what to this very uh, detector so that it is detected now and what about this other light the the, the, the light travels through this made from from here and then it should also be reflected and then when it when it gets here right when it gets here then it, it is also reflected downwards and uh, if we could see we said that what is going to travel the same distance now if this was the case right if the if the if the earth is not moving what should be noticed is that what the whole of this place should be white but uh, scientists knew that the earth was moving even right from the time of uh, Galilea, I mean, Galilea, I mean Gal Gal Galileo it was known that what the earth is really moving and so what what was what was uh, observed is, is what is fringes what are fringes now fringes are just dark bands that is when we are when, what i mean by dark bands now instead of instead of instead of us to have the whole of this place to be white some part is going to be black so we have bands like this and this is due to because of, due to the fact that what that the earth is moving one of these um, a photon of light or one of these uh, 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 lights that is traveling either that of M2 or M1 should be what should be traveling 
a further distance before these very uh, uh, dark bands or fringes can be formed. Right? Now, that is just the old, the way it is. But, and, and, and because the earth is not moving, this is not how the setup should, should look like. So light will not travel, light could travel, now when light, when light travels down here, it could travel in this distance backward, but it cannot travel, just move down there and travel down, down, down this way. It is, that's, and the reason is because of what? Light, mean that the earth is moving, and this very setup is what? Is placed on the earth. Now, when, if, if, if let's say for instance, if light, if this light is going to be released, or if the light hits this very, uh, this very, uh, half silvered mirror at some time. Now, before this very mirror, before the light will get to this mirror, this mirror would have moved a distance. Say this please. Right? Now, that means this mirror is not going, the light is not going to meet this very, the light is not going to meet it at a, let me, Rub off some of these things so we can get what I'm saying. So what I'm saying is that if the earth is moving, let's say the, the velocity of the earth is in this direction, right? Now, and then before we, before uh, the, the light will get to this very mirror, when it is re reflected at this very point, it's going to take some what some distance. Let's say it, it will it will it will meet it here. Now it is no longer exactly straight, so it's now so the light we have to travel in this distance, right? Now and then, for for this before this very light, uh, the, when it travels here, before this very light, we do what? We also travel down again. It has to travel down again so that we to meet this very mirror at this very position. So that is that is because of what? Because that is because of what? The earth is moving. So this that means the whole setup is moving. When the light uh, re reaches the mirror at this very point. It, 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 it what what will happen is that what the mirror the, the 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 mirror here the half silver mirror will also have moved what a distance so that when the reflected light is to is to meet this mirror it will meet it after covering the same distance it has traveled down here so that is how it's going to be now we want to study the the, the motion of the uh, of this very of this very uh, light that is going to travel from uh, from here to this mirror and then between what this mirror now let's look uh, let's look at it in this way all right we want to look at the first component of this motion if we want to consider the horizontal component right and we must know that what this very theory one of the one of the uh, uh, underground belief of this theory is that what that light needs a medium for it to travel, and that very medium is called what luminiferous heater, and also it is based on Galilean uh, uh, relativity, which says that what that this the, the the if we have to a uh, reference frame moving with relative speed with with, uh, with respect to each other, v prime should be what u minus what v, where u is what is is the velocity of the second frame of reference, and then uh, this. The, uh, then v is what is the relative velocity right now it makes use of what of galilean transformation now light is believed to travel with the speed c in 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 a, in a, in a eta as at that time so it, it is believed that what light travels with what is speed c in eta but when light moves relative to the earth the speed is going to change now let's say for instance now let us consider the horizontal part of this motion. Now, when light, when the when the light is being reflected, or when the light passes through this very uh, this very uh, glass, it should travel towards this mirror at a speed of what c. But since the earth is moving in this direction, the, the actual speed should be what the, the speed of light plus what plus the uh, plus the speed of what of the of the earth. C plus V. Now, what what is the time taking for you to travel that distance? Let's call that distance. Let us call that uh, very uh, time. Let's call it what uh, T. Let's call it T naught, right? Now, let it is going to be what the distance traveled is what is L two. Is going to be what L two 
over what c plus what v because it's what distance over what velocity now if it travels back now when it is going to be traveling back what with what velocity do we believe it should be traveling back with it should be traveling with now if since the earth is moving in this direction when light is traveling back it's going to be what travel with a light with a speed that is what c minus what v because not they are no longer in the same direction so at that time the time the time is going to be what l2 over what c minus what v so the, this c minus v is the, is the new velocity when it is traveling backward now this is the time let me call it uh, I don't know if you have what software I can give it give to it. Let me just call it now. But if you add these two times together, at least if we if we if the time taken for you to travel from this very glass to this mirror and then back to this glass is going to be it's going to be our t1. Now t1 should be what this very time here plus the time here. So it's what l2 over c minus v uh, c plus v rather plus what l2 over what c minus v so it takes some time for you to travel this distance and it takes another, it takes another time for you to travel since the, the speed is not the same so the time cannot be the same let's call this one t1 now if you if you compute all of this um, the lcm here is c minus what uh v right that's the difference of two squares so we're going to work l2 l2 into what c minus v plus what l2 into what c plus v so when you when we open these brackets what we are going to have is what um 2 l 2 times c over what i mean then this one is going to be negative if you add it to this one it's good so we have what over c square minus what v square so this is what this t1 so this is the time taken for you to travel this horizontal distance and that is because of what we take we take it that what that the speed of light is relative right let's consider the we are going to keep this very result anyway and we consider the motion on the vertical uh of motion of the of the light on the vertical plane All right, for this very vertical part now, the velocity of light is not going to depend on the velocity of earth, and this the reason is because it is not the the this direction is what is perpendicular to what to um to the the velocity of the earth, and so what is going to happen? But something that we happen is that the light is not going to, to just travel down here. If it travels down here, it, it will not meet any mirror there to reflect it. So what we happen is that what. As because since the earth is moving, the light is going to travel in a line that is not going to be perpendicular to what to this very horizontal, but what at an angle. So at an angle of inclination to what to the horizontal. Now, so that it it will meet this very light, I mean this very mirror at a particular point here, and then at that very time, you know both the mirror and this half silver glass, the glass, they are all made up of what the same. They are, they, are, they, are, they are the same uh, material. So at that point, this mirror is going to be at this very point here when the when the light strikes it here, and then the light is reflected. I remember, you know, the law, uh, the law, uh, one of the rules of reflection that when light is when when light is all a wave is reflected, it should be reflected through an angle which is equal to what the angle of what of the incident ray. So it's going to be reflected through the same angle, and then it should meet this mirror at what. At this very distance, so this where this very mirror is going to be when it will meet, uh, to, to meet what this very, uh, this very, uh, uh, when the light that is reflected is going to meet this very mirror, this way to meet it now. But we must know since the earth, since the earth is, uh, is moving, that means the, the position of this very setup is going to change. That's why things are like this now. What is the distance traveled by what by this very, by this very mirror? Now you know we have we have taken the, the the initial distance to be what I mean the distance for the horizontal component to be t one so let's use t two for this right so that we are going to have um, what's the distance that is, that is going to be traveled now the distance to uh, traveled 
is going to if the if it is no, we we'll say the it is moving with what with a speed v. Now the you know the distance that we travel will be what v times what t. Abi. Now I want to call this t what t two. So after some time, this very uh, after some time t two, this very uh, mirror has moved what a distance what v t two. So this now if this that is from here to here is what this distance is what v uh, t two. Now, but what is from here if this you know this distance this from here to here is just half of this right so what is this distance this distance is going to be what v t that is this distance and then this distance also is going to be what v t 2 over what over 2 because we are going to divide this distance over 2 over 2 that's how you get what this means what is going to be what v t 2 over what over 2 now and then light on its own the velocity of light does not depend on uh, do, does not depend on uh, on with the the place I mean the, the the velocity of what of the earth now but what is going to happen is that what light is going to be, to be traveling and during the time that that that, that this very uh, mirror or glass move from this place to this very place it is the same time that light travels from here down to this what to this very place and you must know that what this very distance and this distance they are the same they are equal so if if the light travels with a speed c now what is the what is the distance traveled that is the total time that will be the total time traveled is what c t two right now and i'm telling you that the total distance traveled is this from here down here so this place is going to be what half of what half c t two and this distance is also going to be what? Half C T2. Right? So this is how we, 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 we got that. And then if you want to make very this very T2 subject of the formula, that is, you want to really calculate what the, the, the time in terms of what velocity of light and what velocity of the earth. What are we going to get? Let's 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 take out one of these, uh, this, you can see this. We can have a two, we have two Pythagoras, uh, um, or triangle, I mean right angle triangle that can you can use Pythagoras theorem to solve. Now let us see what it is. Now we have this very triangle like this. We have a triangle half C T two. Then we and then this other part is what. Um, this other part is half. V T two. Now, but what is this distance? This distance is what is same thing as L one, isn't it? So we can put L one there. So we put what L one. Now let us let us express T in terms of every other thing in this in this using Pythagoras theorem. This is the longest side. We have it at half C T two. Everything squared should be equal to what half. Uh, v t2 plus what everything squared plus um l2 squared so this pythagoras theorem and then let's just try to work on uh, this so we want to, we want to make this object of the formula so what must we do let's let's do this now first of all okay let's let's collect this thing together. If we if we do the, all this part, it's going to be what, c square, c square, t two square over what four equals what v t two square square over what over four plus what plus l square. Now, so that we can make let's uh, collect this t anything I ask, uh, let's collect like terms and then we are going to have what c square t square minus v square. Uh, this two. Everything they have the, the same denominator equals what L square. So that we have what now. So that we have that what C square. Uh, T can T can factor out here. So we have T square into what C square 
minus what? V square. Uh, equals what? 2. You can cross multiply. Or, that's it. Just cross multiply. We have what? 4 L is L1. L1. L1 everywhere. Sorry, L1. L1 square. Right? So, let's just um, divide both. Let's divide through by C square. Dividing both sides by what? C square. C square. So we have what? What are we going to have? I'm going to rub some things off now. So we are going to have t square into what? C square over C square is 1. Then we are going to have V square over what? C square equals what? 4 L 2 over C square, right? Now, let us take the square root of both sides. So this is going to be what? So t can come out. So that we have what? t into t2. This t2 everywhere. 1 minus v square over c square equals what? 2l is l1 over what? Over c. The squares cancel. So we have this. So that our t2. So that our t2 will be equal to what? We divide both sides by this. So that we have what? 2L1 over C divided by what? 1 minus what? V square over C square. So this is our T2. Now, th that means um, we, want to, we want to let us really look at it now. Will a light being or, or, or with, a, with, a, with a photon of light that travel that travels down to this very mirror and the and the photon of light that travels on the horizontal axis would they arrive at the same time now how, how can we know how, how are we going to know that they will arrive at the same time if we are we choose l1 and l2 to be the same that is they, they, they should be the same length now and then we 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 do all of this we, we do all our calculation and then we take the difference between the two times. Uh, the, the time difference should be what? Zero. That means that what? They will, uh, they will arrive at the same time. But if the time is not zero, then they will not arrive at the same time. That means they will be what? Fringes, as we have earlier said. So fringe is just uh, due to what? The interference. The, when the, the when the is not exactly uh, uh, coming to this very point at the same time. Now, let us take the difference. Let's, let us say let delta, delta t be what? t2 minus what? t1. Right? Now, what is t1? t1 is this. 2L 2C over what? Um, what do we have here? Now these two L two C. Let, let's let's still work on that same one. Let's work on it so that we can have our desired result. But let's take note of this very formula. Let's work on that same one again. Now take T one. Say T one equals two uh, L two C over what C square. Minus what? V square. I want to divide both top and bottom by what? By C square. So I did, this one is going to be divided by C square. Everything else is what? Divided by what? Uh, C square. We have not changed anything. So this is going to be what? 2L C over what? C square over um, C square minus V square over what? C square. So that we have what? C can cancel one cancel one C here. So that we have two L this L two. L two. Two L two over what? Over C. 
then this we cancel this you are going to have what one minus what v square over what c square so this is what we have for what at t one now so now let us take the difference let us take the difference now i'm going to rub this off so i can take the difference so it's now t2 this is going to be what t2 is 2l1 over c root of what 1 minus v square over c square right minus 2l2 2 over what c into what 1 1 minus what v square over c square so this is what we now have as delta t this is delta t now if you take this difference you will agree with me that even if these two are the same because the, the denominators are not the same we are not going to have the same thing in fact let us try to take let us try to um, take the difference now this is going to be the the whole thing is going to result with this let's see what we have now we can factor out 2 over c right so that we have what l1 we take the lcm and then try to make the this one is going to be what 1 minus v square over c square raised by what 3 over 2 right this thing is very easy to figure out then you, on, on, on this top we are going to have um now this this is very Okay, let's just let's just do it. This is going to be one minus what v square over c square minus two l two into what root of one minus v square over what over c square. Now we can you can see confused deal of this, but. I want us to do something now. I want us to do something. I want us to do something. What we are going to do is the very uh, the 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 interferometer, the interferometer. We are going to rotate it by ninety degree. Now, why are we rotating it by ninety degree? We have noticed that what from this very equation that that they will what they will be fringe. Do uh, there will be fringes? Due to the fact that what t delta t between t one and t two is not what is not going to be zero, so they they will they, they will be resultant what fringes. Now, but when we if we rotate this very frame by ninety degree, we want to see whether the fringe is going to change. And let me tell you, Michael Simoli, I mean they, they carried out this experiment in various period of the month and they uh, 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 in, a, in a within the year and. They discover that what the fringe still remain the same but then let's really look at what is going to happen if we rotate this frame all right now we are we have successfully rotated the frame through what 90 degree such that l2 is not is now i mean l1 is now along the horizontal and l2 is now along the vertical now the reason why we have to rotate it is because we don't really know if the difference in in um, I mean the fringe is due to the fact that what L two is longer than L one or L one is longer than L two because you know uh, the 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 um, wavelength of light is very very small something that is that is measured in nanometers so if we are going to make our length we cannot say we cannot be we cannot say that we can be precisely sure of measuring length to the to na nanometers so that is why we have to. Um, um, uh, rotate it this way now on, upon rotation now what is what is going to be um, t prime i mean what is going to be uh, now, now i'm going to call everything prime 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 that is the time the time now the time here let me it's going to still be what t2 and the time will be what t1 right because t1 is associated associated with what l1 L and stuff like that now what the, what is going to change here is this um T1, I mean, T2 will, not, will no longer be what? Will no longer be having this denominator of what? Um, uh, square root of 1 minus V square over C square. So what is it going to be having? 
is going to be having this square root. That is because of what? It is now along what? The velocity of, of the of the earth. So it is now along this. So this t2, t2, let me call it prime, right? t2 prime should be equal to what? 2l1 over what c. So they will just change um, the um, the denominator over what? And you can try to prove it the way I proved the other one, and then you'll be able to get the same the same result. 1 minus v square over c square. Right? So this is what we have. Then t uh, uh, 1 prime, right? Should be equal to this 2L. Sorry, I shouldn't have read. This is not what I wrote. There should be no square root there. So this is going to be what? 2L over C. If uh, then square root of what? 1 minus V square over what? Over C square. So this is what we now have. Now let us take the, the, the difference for this very one. Is it going to be zero? Let's check. Now, we take this difference, we are going to have what? 2L1 over what? So delta T prime here is what? Is delta T prime 2 minus delta T prime 1. So we have what? Over C into what? 1 minus V square over C square uh, minus 2 is L2. L2 over what? C square root of what? 1 minus V square over C square. So, that's, that's it. Now, we have, we have talked about the fact that delta T equals what? T2 minus what? T1. Now, delta T prime is what? Delta uh, is what? T2 prime minus what? T1 prime. Right? So now, let us see the fringe. Now, before we go into that anyway, let's take the difference between these two times. Now, let us take the difference of what of the time that we have here. So let's say what? Delta T prime minus what delta T. What are we going to have? Now that's going to be T2, I mean, this minus this minus what? The whole of this, right? So it is going to be what? T1, I mean T, T2 prime minus what? T, uh, T2, T1 prime minus into bracket what? T2 minus what? T1. So what are we going to have now? We're going to have what? T2 uh, T2 prime minus T1 prime minus T2 T2 plus what? T1. Right? Now let's collect the ones that have the same sign. So I can collect what? Uh, T2 prime. This one is also what? Plus what? T2 and T1 T1 minus what? T minus into what? T1 plus what? T2. T1 prime plus what? Plus T2. So let us, now, this is what we have. We're going to rub everything up so that we can, can be able to work on these equations. Now, what is T2 prime? T2 prime is, T2 prime, T2 prime is what? 2L1 over C into 1 minus v square over what? Over c square. Uh, then t1 here is what? t1 is what? 2l over c um, 2l2 over c into what? 1 minus what? v square over what? c square. Then minus now, what do we have? We have minus into bracket all of this. We have <coughs> let me keep T1 prime because I need it. So I'm going to remove the other one minus all of this. T1 prime. T1 prime is 
2L2 over what C root of what 1 minus B square over C square then plus what T2 T2 is what 2L what's happening here I think this, this should be 1 right should be one t2 prime okay, there's a mistake here so this should be one that means it should be two minus one here yeah? This one is correct, 1, and this one is 2. Now, then, this is going to be what? Plus, this one should be 1, like I said. Then, T2 t here is what? Is 2L2 over C, the root of what? 1 minus V square over C square. Now, that's just, that's what it is. So now let's look at this. If you look at it, two L. Now let's let's just well, look at what what we can factor out here. We are done with all of this. Now let's look at what we can factor out here. We have two C can come out first from everywhere. Then here we are going to have what L. 1 plus L2 right this one is into what 1 over 1 over uh, 1 minus V square over what over C square right then minus L2, L1 plus L2 again into what? 1 over 1 minus what? V square over C square. If you try to do this, just try to look at it, you will see what I have done here. So now this one, these two can also come out again. So that we are going to have what? 2 over C, L1 plus L2 into what? 1 over 1 minus v square over c square minus what? 1 over root of what? 1 minus v square over what? c square c square right? so that if we <coughs> let's work on this bracket now that's where the main work is so we are going to collect the LCM uh, the, find the LCM then we and you must know one thing, the velocity of light is very very great compared to what the velocity of the earth is just in whether you want to turn kilometers per second and, and like that. But then the velocity of light is very very great. But let's just let's just see what it's going to be. Now this is going to be what 2 over C L1 put this in bracket plus L2 into what is going to be square root of 1 minus v square over c square plus what 1 minus v square over c square everything here times what 1 minus v square over c square which is what minus 3 over 2 if you multiply this and this to find the LCM, you are going to have, have what everything here is about 3 over 2, and that's the under alternate, that's inverse yeah, inverse law. You know the, the inverse law, 1 over becomes what? Negative. So we are now we are going to expand this using um that we are going to expand what we have here and what we have here using this method, this uh, the method of 
Let me put this one down. We are, we are going to expand it using the method of binomial expansion. Now, how do we expand this one? What we have here? So now, when we are when we are going to expand, we are going to do away with anything that has to do with uh, v square over c square. I mean over I mean, c cube over c cube. The reason is because when 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 we when we consider this one, it's, it's going to be very very small. Velocity of x with respect to the velocity of, uh, velocity of light is very very small. So you can when you divide this, you, you are going to have a very very small number. So we neglect it. So what we are going to have now is what. 2 over C into what? L1 plus L2 into now, this one is going to be what? 1 minus what? 1 over 2 V square over C square now, the next term, we are going to ne neglect it this one we are well, well, this one we have 1 over 2 because remember, if you use this binomial expansion where, where we have that where you have um, uh, expansion that is not whole number or positive number you should use what uh, one if we have one plus x everything raised by n it should be what one plus n x plus what uh a plus n just binomial expansion and stuff like that can't really recall now but then if you try to do that with this now, so like I told you, when we have v square, I'm going to neglect it. So this is going to be what? Um, this is what we now have. Then, plus, because I neglect the other part. Now, 1 minus v square over c square into what? On this part, we are going to have 1 minus v square. Now, what was this? This minus 3 over 2. So if we this our n now, if you multiply that with this, we are going to have what? 3 over 2 v square plus 3 over 2 v square over what? C square. Right? And then I neglect the other ones. Now let's let's go with this. This is what 2 over C L1 plus L2 into what? 1 minus now, okay, one. Wait, look, this is this ought to be minus. So I ought to put this in brackets, minus. So minus times one, with the minus and minus, then it will be plus. So when we add this and this, what we are going to have is what? One minus one is going to be what? Zero, right? Then we have minus one over two v square over c square plus what? Uh, v square over what? C square. Everything into bracket. 1 plus what? 3 over 2 V square over what? C square. Right? So that we have, let's solve this one now. So let's see. We have 2 over C L1 plus L2 into what? Now if you add this, we are going to get 1 over 2 V square over C square into what? 1 plus 3 over 2 V square over C square Now if we multiply this now, like I told you, we don't need anything that is any power of v square over c square that is greater than 2. So if we multiply this, now it's going to be greater, so we have to neglect it. So we just multiply this and this, so that we are going to have this one goes, so we have what? 2 over c into what? L1 plus L2 into what? 1 over 2 v square over c square. Now, <coughs> Let's rearrange this so that we can get a good result. So I can choose to say what? 2 over c square times what? v square over c square times what? L1 plus L2. So that I will have what? And this is 1 over 2, right? This cancels this, right? Then 
what have now what I now have is what L1 plus L2 into what? Uh, v square over C into V square over C square. So this is what we where is it? This is our delta t prime minus what delta t delta t and it's a very good result that we have gotten and we are going to discuss on it but let me just rub off this first all right this very result that we have yet is what we have been looking for now the michael simoni experiment that i told you was to determine this the speed of of the earth now i know according to the according to the theory of special relativity it clearly says that what you cannot determine your absolute velocity now and one of the ways we could really cook up that is what to tell you that what the speed of light is not relative Right? It is absolute. So that you cannot perform any experiments in your frame of reference to determine your velocity. Now, if this if the speed of light was really relative, now the result of this experiment which we are going to discuss will uh, would not have been the way it is. Now let you know light is a wave. And we have we have heard about the theories with wave, uh, wave particle duality and stuff like that. Now but we want to talk about it as a wave. Now if the if the period of vibration of light is t that's period t mm -hmm. now and we divide this quantity now i'm going to introduce something i, I should have introduced it since i'm going to say that b equals what v over c right i just choose that letter to be it because people have been using that letter also so i'm going to say what, i'm going to say that what my delta t prime minus delta t equals what l1 plus l2 over what c times what b square this is v square over b2 times b square now if the period of vibration of of of, of light is t you no know, since it is a wave now you don't have period and the speed of light is c right the period of the period of i mean the 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 uh, period is going to be what um, is going to be um, the wavelength rather is going to be what related in this manner right so that this very period is what so if you want to make um, okay if you make the subject of the formula you can put um, this right so that if we divide both sides by t right by t we have what lambda which is what six, right? So we divide, we divide both sides by the time period. Now, why are we dividing it by the time period? Because we want to get the fringe. That this is how the fringe is calculated. Now, so this is going to be what everything now results to what um, everything here can also result to L one plus uh, L two over what lambda times what b squared. Where lambda is what is the wavelength. Now, when this experiment, now if you carry out these experiments using the normal uh, apparatus, interferometer apparatus, that is the Michelson Molly apparatus, now you will always discover that what no matter how you rotate your frame of reference, I mean your your apparatus, the fringe will always be what everything here will always be zero point four. And that was that's what was detected using the telescope. Now, why was this why was this so? Now, the expectation of Michelson Molly is that what the fringe should do what should change as the frame is being rotated. And in fact, this thing was this very experiment was carried out at various times in the year, in the day, in the night, for more than more than more than uh, six months before. They could came. They could come out to say that what 
this very experiment was not what was not a success now though this very experiment failed to determine the speed of I mean the the, the, the speed of uh, of light to be what to, de to fail to determine that the speed of light is what is going to be relative or whether light needed a, a, a medium so that we call luminiferous heater to travel it failed to to to, to really ascertain that now uh, but then this very theory gave rise to uh, one of the great scientists Lawrence which, which came up with, with a law of contraction which was able to I mean with um, the weather rule or law of contraction which was able to explain why this experiment failed now they couldn't determine the velocity of light using this very experiment they couldn't also determine uh, whether they could not detect or they could not ascertain that light needed the luminiferous eater for it to travel through. So, and that is that is just that about uh, Michael Simonli experiment. Now, this experiment, like many people will usually say, was a great failure. Why? It was a great failure that that came with a lot of what successes because this is one of the things that made scientists to begin to question so many things and then they came up with the uh, some ideas and they were able to uh, make really make it so that's why we it's from here that we have the Lorentz transformation and then the special relativity that was postulated by uh, by Einstein which says that what that the speed of light is not relative that it is what absolute and that was so cooked up so that you cannot determine your velocity in your frame of reference right you cannot determine your velocity because this was an experiment that you could use that could be used to determine the velocity of the people carrying out this that do that very experiment but this also this comes out to be a support though it was a failure it comes out to be what is part of the things that support uh, um, Einstein's relativity theory which tells us that what that you cannot determine your speed your your you I mean which tells us that what the speed of light is the same in all frames of reference irrespective of the uh, of the of the, the velocity of the observer or the source so that is that do like this video and if you have if you still have questions if you are if you are still confused comment in the in the comment box there and i'm going to put my whatsapp number there you can call you can uh, chat me up on whatsapp and like this video share it don't forget to subscribe